Hi guys, welcome to another quick fire questions. This is a chemistry video and it's on bonding. So we're going to be looking at a variety of questions, both ionic and covalent bonding. As with all my quick fire videos, the way to make best use of this is to listen to the question, pause it, have an attempt, and then play the video to see what my idea of the perfect answer is. So we're going to start by drawing sodium chloride. As I've said many times before, this isn't a showing you how to do the method to style a video. I have plenty of other videos like that on my channel. This is you just quickly practicing and seeing if you can get the answer right. So sodium chloride looks like this. This time we're being asked to draw hydrogen chloride. Notice that you have two non-metals here, which is why you're going to use a covalent bonding diagram. Hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. Chlorine has seven. Here's your final answer. Question three, draw methane. From organic chemistry, you should know that the formula is CH4. Again, two non-metals, so we have covalent bonding. So let's arrange it with the carbon in the middle, hydrogens on the outside. Each hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. Each carbon has four. Double check to see if they're both full. Yes, they are. Each carbon now has eight electrons. Each hydrogen has two electrons. Remember, hydrogen only needs two electrons to have a full outer shell because it only enters the first shell. Now we're being asked to draw magnesium chloride. We have a metal and a non-metal, which is why we have ionic bonding. And this is how your final answer should look. So magnesium now has a full outer shell. It's lost two electrons, which is why it's two plus. Notice you need two chloride ions. It's up to you how you draw it, but I'm going to draw it like this. Double check your charges. Yes, that is correct. Getting more difficult now. I think this is the most difficult one they could ask you to do. Draw aluminium oxide. This is your final answer. You need lots of brackets this time. Because each aluminium has lost the electrons, it has a 3 plus charge. Because each oxygen has gained two electrons, it has a 2 minus charge. Do watch my videos on ionic and covalent bonding if you're not happy with how I'm going straight to the answer here. I promise they'll tell you everything. That is your final answer. Just a note, sometimes you might have seen this sort of thing. I think different exam boards accept different things. So instead of writing out every single bracket, some people will be used to writing out like this. But that's totally dependent on what your exam board is happy accepting, so you need to double check that. But yeah, that's kind of a neater way of doing it, really. So now ethane, again, organic chemistry, its formula is C2H6. So we have two non-metals, so again, a covalent bonding diagram. By the way, it's up to you if you draw these circles overlapping or more like I've done it up here. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to switch and show you the alternative method.
each hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. Each carbon has four. Double check to see if each carbon now has eight electrons. Yes, it does, and each hydrogen has two. So that is correct. Next up, draw carbon dioxide. Remember that's CO2. The most difficult thing to remember here is that it has a double covalent bond, which looks like four electrons being shared. So each carbon has eight electrons, that's correct. Remember that oxygen is in group six, so it has six electrons already in its outer shell. So the crosses there represent those six electrons. Let's do the same on this side, and then just double check that oxygen now has eight electrons. Yes, it does, so that's correct. And then I'm going to draw the most difficult one now, so draw ethene. Again, an organic compound, C2H4. Hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. Carbon has four. And be careful, it has a double covalent bond. Double check now to see that each carbon has eight electrons in its outer shell. Yep, they both do. Each hydrogen has two, so we're good. Hope you found that video really helpful. If you need any guidance as to how I came to those answers, do check out my ionic and covalent bonding diagrams video.